Good evening and welcome back. Gonna try a game today called Vampire Survivors. I'm sure many people have heard of it. It was a small indie game, but it's become very popular. A few of my favorite YouTubers and streamers have been playing it, so I thought I'd give it a go. Now, I did buy it a while back and I've just been playing other games. So it's not the very first time I've tried it, but I've only dipped into the game very briefly. It looks really fun. I get an idea of what the game is about, but in terms of what are the best power-ups, best characters, etc., I'm not sure. So we're just going to jump in. So I've only got the one character, as you can see. He starts with a whip, I believe that is. And basically there's only one control, which is just a move. And um, you collect these blue orbs. I mean, they're blue for now, but they're all different types. Um, that are XP and when you level up, level up you get to choose either a weapon or so here we go um, so you've got an axe here, magic one or weapons and then you've got items as well so I'm going to choose the King Bible because I've seen some people have some fun playthroughs with that so basically in essence this is a game so you run around and um, you see the King Bible now and again will show up and sort of silk around me hitting the enemies my whip is just horizontal different weapons and different items have um different bonuses water i know basically patches of water show up in random areas it's a shield that's active at certain times but i think we're going to go for magic wand for now you can level these up as well the weapons and the items now the idea is is this lasts for 30 minutes and at 30 minutes, uh, death appears. And basically kills you every time. Now, this one here, that's glowing blue, is a boss, or like a mini boss. Um, so, got to be a little bit careful with him. And this is a rogue. I always get mixed up between a rogue light and a rogue like. But... There we go. So on the, the mini bosses, or the bosses, you unlock a treasure. Now you get weapons and items in these as well. You can get coins, which you can spend outside of the gameplay itself. So that's where the roguelite or roguelite comes in, where you can actually increase some of your character stats, unlock other characters, etc. Now, in this, there could be one, three, or five items, depends on how lucky we are. There's just the one. Got some coins. And what else? It's just a, a level up for the whip. So if I have one more projectile. And I've leveled up straight away again. Let's level up the King Bible, actually. You can only have so many items and weapons at once. It looks like six weapons and maybe four items. I'm going to go for axe. Now, anyone that's played the game say, no, that's the wrong one. You should have picked a different weapon. You know, again... I haven't really played this. I've watched, like I say, a few videos on it, but I wasn't, you know, we're not trying to min-max or anything like that. We're just trying to get used to the game. So you just keep moving around, but there are sort of things you can unlock that are actually in the map. You can find items. Open here's a swarm. Oh dear, that's bad. Um, we're going to want to level up the magic wand, I think. And the idea is you want to last as long as possible, ideally to the 30 minutes. Then death appears, and like I say, so I've only lasted 2 minutes 19 there. But then if I have a quick look, unlock wings, unlocks hollow heart. Have a look at the unlocks. So yeah, I mean there's 101 unlocks apparently. You can spend coins, so what I could do is, probably haven't got anywhere near enough coins to level up anything. But once you do, you can level up these, and obviously you just gradually get better. You unlock better characters, or different characters, not always better. And you just keep playing. And you can unlock different maps as well. So this is obviously the first map that you that you have, just a very generic map. But there's some really interesting ones. I'm going to go with Magic Wand again. So yeah, it's obviously going to be quite difficult at first because you're quite limited in terms of your health and um, any sort of stats really, what weapons you can unlock, just the character itself, because 
every every character starts with a different sort of weapon or item. Let's just try and level up this magic wand. Ideally, what you want to do is level up a weapon to its max, which for most, I think, is level 8. You can then... I think a boss can potentially drop a special upgrade that some weapons and items have. And I think some weapons and items have a synchronicity between them. Um, I've forgotten what it's called, where if you have two different types of items, they actually support each other or one supports the other. And I believe when you're choosing the items and weapons, it, it does state um, that on there. You know, if we do find one, I'm sure we'll spot it. Doing very badly here. So, right, leveled up. I'm going to choose spinach. I mean, we might die. So I don't know if health regen is something you unlock or it's only specific for certain characters. I'm not really sure. Let's just make a run for it because we're going to get some XP. Get the treasure. So it's just a single again. You can get luck upgrades, which increases the chance of this being better and also items that are dropped on the ground or just laying on the ground. So you can see we've got another upgrade to the, to the wand. This has gone badly. I'm sure any even semi-experienced uh, survivors, uh, gamers are cringing at this. Okay, so we've actually got 291 coins now. So what I might do is, I think I'm gonna increase the maximum health. But from what I've seen of the game, there are a lot of characters to upgrade. Don't knock rather. You forgetting I haven't got health regen. I'm taking this like, oh, I can take a bit of damage, but at the start I should be avoiding that as much as possible. I mean, this guy pretty much only hits in the direction he's facing. Let's try Santa Water. At random points, water will show up. There you go. Now, obviously, if enemies go into that, they get damaged. And obviously that will increase the amount that uh, that falls if you upgrade it. Yeah, so let's get them heading in that direction. Let's get knife as well because we've already got the whip that's facing in the direction I'm going. So this will just increase that. So I'm kind of doubling down on my weapon and also the limitations of, of my weapon. Which may or may not be a smart thing. Damn. Oh, it's just getting crowded. But if we can level up. Yeah, now these blue XP, they're all different colours. I think there's a green, potentially a red, I think. Which obviously carry more XP. Ooh, avoid the swarm. Now, if you're good enough level, the swarm's actually a good thing because you just kill lots of enemies and get lots of XP quite easily. Dear God. This is getting difficult. Just weapons are not powerful enough. Um, let's level up the center water. Get more of it going on. That's a bit better, but you can see I'm just totally underpowered. Now if we can just get to this. Ah, there's a red item, red XP. And we've got three, so there you go, that was a lucky drop. I leave the chest as well, you can only get items that you've already unlocked or got. Because obviously there is a strategy to this as well. Um, I'm going to get armor, I think I really need that right now. Now the good thing is with my knives, have, there was three upgrades from my knives there. Now what is this? Is this thing that collects all the orbs? Oh no, freezes time. That's right. So this freezes time for, I don't know how long it is, maybe 10, 15 seconds. But you can see my knives are pretty powerful now. And my water's doing a little bit of damage. But again, my health is terrible. Now, I actually think a bit of movement speed would help. You can actually uh, pick up turkeys I think it is which are basically like health drops pretty sure there is a map I say I'm not 100% sure if that's something you have to unlock or whether I'm 
just uh, being a bit dense. Right, let's increase the armor. So the trick is, what you want to do is, I mean, obviously you're trying to avoid damage, but you want to collect these XP, because if you don't level up, you're going to fall further and further behind, um, which I already am. I've got ghosts coming in now. This is going to get bad. Just managed to avoid them somehow. A little bit of speed increase just helped there. Yeah, this is this is where running away. Oh, there's a health drop. Yes, Not as much as I thought, but never mind. It's a fun fun game though. Like I said, I haven't played it much, but I've, some of my friends have played it. I've seen a few YouTubers play it, so. I think we're going to go for wings, which is not going to help our damage output, but it is going to help us maneuver around a bit and pick up some of these. Oh dear, here's the... Oh, I didn't want to see the circle of death coming in. And he's a tough guy. Yeah, this is probably going to be the end here. Oh, I survived it. I didn't realise it they could disappear, to be honest. Nice, so the knife's upgraded again. Level up again. Let's go for Hollow Heart. Just need that bit of survivability. Oh, okay, so that just increases my maximum. I don't think it added any health. But if I pick up any... Health drops. Yeah, that would have been a good one to pick up earlier when I had more health. There are certain items you can pick up where it will basically hoover up all of the um, the gems that I've dropped that you haven't picked up yet and bring them towards you, which would be really helpful right now because I would level up a few times, most likely. Yeah, but anyone that's watching, any tips on the game, drop them down below. You know, what's your favourite character? What's your favourite map? Do you have any specific weapon and item combos that you like to go for? Keep getting that health. I am getting a bit lucky with these health drops now. But I will be... F I really need to level up a couple more times. Um, I need to get some stronger weapons. Because at it, it, this way, I'm just going to... Right, here we go. Um... I do like King Bible, so I'm going to pick that. This turkey. Nice. What's that? I don't know what that is. Is that health? It's not health, is it? Yeah, if you can let me know what that red sort of... It looks like a red flask that I picked up twice. What that is. I'm sure it'll be in the... Uh, in the glossary somewhere. That I should look at. Yeah, what is that? I really don't know. Oops, nearly got stuck on a bit of scenery. Um, let's continue leveling up the knife. I doubt we're going to get there, but it'd be great to get that leveled up to level eight, and then see if we can unlock. Assuming the knife has a, that was bad a sort of bonus upgrade. I don't know if it does. What is that? I'm going to get that just to... Nope. don't know if that did anything. The Bible's a good one for protection because obviously it's just circling you, but you get more of them, like more Bibles that circle you, and then they go faster as well. So, wait, if we could... I would really want to get the uh, the knives upgraded, don't we? Ooh. I'll take a risk there. So just the single in the chest. I want a knife or Bible. Bible, that'll do. Knife, keep the knife going. At least I've got one weapon that's doing like a hefty amount of damage. As you can see, the enemies are getting tougher. 
getting stuck on the scenery again. Bad move. I'm going to get stuck here. I need to stay still. Oh, it's the circle of death. God, I'm panicking now. <laughs> I think we just need to... Yeah, there's a little line here that I can get out of. That's good. Are there any easy kills I can get? Not the boss. I'll go for the greens. Go for this file. I don't know what it is still. I'm not getting much knockback. Ah, there we go. Please be three. Ooh, is this five? Oh, no, it's three, but... I looked. Oh, no, it is five. Wow. Yep, I've maxed out the knife, at least for the normal progression. So now, oh, if I can survive, we need to find a... Let's hit the magic wand. The magic wand's good. Oh, look at all these. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, no. I made a mistake. Where have all these come from? Oh, this is... Make a run for it. Go in one straight line, because my weapons all go basically in this direction anyway. Oh, this is... This is getting tough. Turkey. Get the turkey. Yes. Now I need to level up. Um, Definitely viable. Get that sort of circle and power to protect me. I think I need to start heading back in this direction if possible. I think I'll run for it. That was pretty good. Just survived. Um... Let's get some armor. God, he's tough. Should be plenty of gems this way. You can see this line where I've uh, obviously previously cowardly run away. Need that boss. I'm running away, but I'm not. You know, it's not like this is a safe zone, so. Um. Need more damage. I really want more Bibles, that's what I want. Okay, let's turn this way now. Oh no. Oh, that's it. <sighs> I really wanted to see that upgrade for the knife, but never mind. We've well, got seven unlocks. Garlic, I've heard that's good. Clover, that's for luck. Brown. Lock Lancet. Empty Tome. Brown. And the Pichon. Okay. So that's probably a half decent run. Made it just over 13 minutes. As you can see, it gets progressively more difficult. So I think we'll leave it there. So that was just a, a dip into Vampire Survivors. What I'll do is I want to play this more off screen anyway. So I'll do a bit of that. Maybe once we've unlocked characters, different weapons and some other upgrades. Maybe we'll have a look at the game again. But let me know what you think. If you have watched, please leave a comment below. Like I say, any tips, any games you recommend playing and any sort of advice in general about the channel would be much appreciated. You know, try me nice, <laughs> but some constructive criticism um, wouldn't go amiss. But um, thank you very much for joining once again, and hopefully we'll be seeing Vampire Survivors again soon. Speak to you soon.